Hey everyone, this is Ren from Strong Girls Knits, and this is day two of meat prep. So, um, I don't know, I was gonna kind of talk about vitamins that James is having me take, but I don't know, I kind of feel like talking about squats today. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if you can hear my washer, um, gotta get laundry done, so, uh, <laughs> and, and I should have recorded this earlier, but oh well. So, um, right now, uh, this is the time, this is, so we've got... 12 more days till the meet and as James refers to it this is the this is the crunch time you know it's the final final lap and I refer to it as <laughs> the descent into madness so um I'm gonna lower no I'm not never mind I was gonna lower my seat but it's already as low as oh there we go <laughs> anyways um so yeah as I said this is more descent into madness um because if you think about it I mean you kind of have to be mad to be a power lifter and, and honestly really any sports you have to, there has to be a level of insanity because who, what normal person um, is really going to do whatever sport um, just for the hell of it. I mean, so I'm, I'm going to refer more to powerlifting because that is of course what I do, but um, I mean, like I said, you have to have a level of insanity to want to go out there and try and lift as much weight as you can, um, you know, with the risk of hurting yourself. I've, I've like I said, I've watched many friends uh, during competition. They've had um, the main thing I've seen is right here the the tendon or the, no the ligament that runs up here or no muscles. I'm sorry, where it just like completely snaps away and comes undone. We had one friend, he. Um, he had to get it restitched and everything on there. Another guy only had like a partial one done, but it, I mean, that's scary to see during a meet. And, you know, I've watched other videos where, um, you know, there's one that, uh, I can, I can remember it was, his name is Brandon Lilly. He's a pretty famous, uh, lifter and he's had numerous surgeries. I think he's up to like in the twenties for knee surgeries. And again, I mean, that shows the level of insanity that he keeps doing, you know, he keeps having surgery and turning around and competing again and again. But he, there was one video and it, it almost brings tears to your eyes because you can hear both of his knees going out. It's just this, these pop pop. And he, he just kind of collapses in the middle of a squat a really heavy squat and this was no wraps or anything completely raw so but yeah as I said um, <laughs> madness I mean what I'm doing is just going out there trying to lift as much weight as I can you know and on top of that I mean I train this is a sport that I can't do every weekend and whatnot I, I train for a good six I've trained for six months for this meet coming up and um, you know on top of that it's not just lifting I lift well, I was lifting about five days a week, and then now with crunch time, um, I've been lifting at least two or three weeks now for six days a week. So, you know, I get one day, pretty much get one day off. Granted, you know, on a good day, I am only only lift for about an hour. You know, on more intense days, it can be up to three hours, depending how slow I'm being and what other extra work I want to do. But, you know, this is not a, a quick payout sport at all. And on top of that, you know, I monitor my weight, my diet, you know, because I, I want to try and compete at 125.8 pounds or less. So that's something I, I literally, um, unless I know I ate too much the, the day before, I, I get up in the morning and I use the bathroom, you know, get that water, <laughs> water weight off. And then I go and weigh myself and that is every morning. So, um, that's, I mean, that's just crazy. I can, I can literally track back. Since, pretty much since April what my weight has been every day and uh, you know I'm starting to like I said this is the <laughs> the descent into madness time so I am tracking my food every day to make sure I um, weight wise this weekend you know past couple days I was a little kind of a little shaky but you know that I mean from here out it's nothing but calorie calorie count down to you know every every little bit so, and it's, I don't know, that's, it just makes me laugh because, you know, it's, as I, I've said a dozen times now, this, this time right now is the descent into madness. So, um, it's just crazy because, 
I, I literally go out there, I, I spend six months of my life com training for this for about a three hour competition, about an hour per lift, you know, depending how many other lifters are out there and, and whatnot, you know. I go out there, I've got three tries for each lift to try and lift as much as I can and to beat myself and, and that's it. And that's even if I, I uh, you know, the first step is to make sure I make weight class, so, <laughs> you know. And yeah, my weight, I think right now the scariest thing is just making sure I make weight class. Um, I don't know, I woke up this morning and I was 126.8, so you know, that's just a pound. And if, if I could maintain close to that, that'd be great, because that'd be about a pound. I just have to water, you know, and I can do that water loading. So, I don't know. Like I said, this is <laughs> this is the scary bit. Um, yeah, you, you don't know what happens, anything, and it, and you know, you can try and prevent for injuries and whatnot, but it's, sometimes it's just... You know, you're, you're always kind of walking this tightrope of, you know, how hard are you going to push yourself to try and get that next weight to see how much you can do. And then, of course, your body deciding if if it's enough and then if you push push it too far. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. Today was a good day, though. I had to do, this is, this will be my, so next Sunday, I will have to do my last heavy squat day until competition. But today I had to do three sets of two at 252 pounds, which was actually, it went really well. Uh, one of the sets, I was a little, I got it up, but it wasn't the prettiest. And But the nice thing is, because back in April, I, for my last heavy squat before competition, I actually did like three sets of singles at 252. So, you know, it, it's definitely a good sign that um, here I was able to do it. Um, almost two weeks out for three sets of doubles so that's really nice that makes me happy it's a little encouragement for my squat so but again it I just gotta make sure I walk out on that platform and I perform as I should so um, I can't really think of anything else uh, if you're watching this thanks so much um, <laughs> like I said you're just gonna this is gonna be 14 videos of slow descent into madness until the final competition so um but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video and uh if you're any of my crafting friends hopefully i will have a sewing or knitting video up uh sometime soon so bye guys